Okay, I found this data sheet for the flip-flops. Um, here's the URL. I just typed in 7476 data sheet. This is one of the hits. This is a clear one. Um, right down here is this is where I want to operate it at. So I want the free and clear high, the J and K high. Uh, then this is the chip right here. So what I'm going to do is stop this, draw my notebook, this diagram twice, and then wire it up so that I get it working right here like this. Okay, so this is a drawing of my circuit. I'm going to have ground, 5 volts, clock going into it. Coming out of it, I'm going to have the 1's bit, the 2's bit, and the 4's bit. They're coming out of pins 15, 11, and 15 again. Ground's basically hooked up to 13's. And then 5 volts is hooked up to 2 through 5, 2 through 5, 7 and 8, 9, and 16. Okay. Okay, you can see that I've got the two chips. I'm ready to push them into the board. They're on this um, trough right here. This is a screwdriver. Um, now I'm going to push it in. What you do is you put push in like this at an angle. Push it in, and then you feel the other side. And you go over and watch to make sure all the legs are going into the holes and you push it in like that. Now this one um, I can see that there's a, a leg right here that's bent in so I've got to straighten it out. Um, let me do this with a pair of needle nose pliers because um, you don't want to break these. Uh, see that one's getting loose. When they break these, these chips are dead. These chips are um, hard to get a hold of now because the world's not using them anymore. Um, but these are the 7476s. I think you can see the numbers on them. At least I can. So now I'm going to begin wiring them up. Okay, so I'm putting in a wire here between pins 2 and 3. Uh, let's see, I'm having trouble getting it in. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to do that for um, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6. No, 5, 5 to 6. Okay, so we're going from VCC, this is the high voltage line, 5 volts line positive voltage, not high. <laughs> and then it's going to here, which is pin 5, and then this this wire right here goes to pin 4, it's right there. And then, let's see, so 5 goes to 3, and then 3 goes back to 4, and then 4 goes to 2, and then 2 goes to pin what is it? 8 right here. 8 goes to 7. 7 goes to 5. 5 goes to 4. 4 goes to 3. 3 goes to 2. 2 wraps around right here and goes to pin 16. 16 wraps right down here and goes to 9. And then 9 wraps and goes to 16 right here. So that's the flow of the positive power around these chips. Now notice that I'm using red to jump 2. I'm using uh, yellow to jump 4 and these clear ones um, to jump 1 and this blue one I just sort of wrap around this leg right here and you can see that I'm not having to rebend any of these wires and then I can pull them up using a flathead screwdriver easily at the end and they'll still look pretty good that's what you want to do this also makes it much easier to troubleshoot you want your wires laying flat to this this um, breadboard or protoboard. Okay, so I've put in ground. Ground is at pin 13 right here. So that's 16, 15, 14, 13. I go to pin 13 here, and then this orange wire goes back to my, my ground associated with the VCC, which is associated with this green bar right here. That's ground. So this is my data flow. It's going to come out of the clock, 
come down here through this yellow wire and come in here on pin 1. Pin 1 is going to then it's going to come out of the first flip-flop right here and the clock's going to be halved and it's going to go in here on pin 6. Then it comes out here on pin 11 and goes into the third flip-flop right here. The outputs of the flip-flops are in pins 15, so this is the 4s. And then this is pin 15 of the chip right here. So that's the 1s. And then pin 11 right here. So if we look at the 1s, this is my output. It's going to go back across the board. And it's going to go up here to 24. And then my 2s which leaves out of pin 11 is going to come through here to pin 25 and then my 4s is coming out of pin 15 out of this chip and it's coming down to 20 and it's plugged into 27 and I'm going to stick it into 26 okay so I've got a wire here from the clock also to 27 so I can look at the clock along with the output, the 4s, the 2s, and the 1s. 